Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here, and I'm so excited. Um, I'm an honorary, um, temporary uh, guest sparkler this month at Spiegel Mom Scraps. And as you know, I love putting sequins on pretty much every layout I do. And I'm very, very thrilled to be working with uh, some, some new um, collections. And I'm gonna go back and, and bring in some, some, uh, some other sets that, that are from my stash. And I'm going to do a beachy page. And I'm going to do something that um, someone uh, called it my trademark, which is a fake shaker pocket. And what I've done is I've taken this half of a cut file. It's probably less than half of a cut file. And I've put some of the um, Big Mama foam behind it, and I cut... It's, uh, I think, an eighth of an inch, so I cut it into 1 16th to get it back there. And it doesn't matter if a little bit of it shows because that's gonna get covered up by sequins. And so that's gonna kinda go behind my panel. It's really one beach photo. I cut out a lot of the foreground that was this, the grassy sea oats so that the umbrellas, the colorful umbrellas would show through. And then I printed it six by two and then cut it into three two by twos. And I have some Vicky Booten Sweet Rush, including this pair of um, palm fronds. And I've cut this off of a clip because I think pineapples are kind of a, a really nice symbol of summer, so might use it there. I'm using a sketch by Lisa Sikorsky of Sikorsky Scraps, and this sketch is in her uh, Scrap-A-Sketch um, Facebook page, and I forget what number it is, but I'm also doing the Mind the Scrap Summer Challenge, and this week these banners are, um, you know, one of the the um, rules, shall we say. Okay, I'm going to put the sequins away. Not quite sure how I'm going to blend or mix those. I may do them a, um, a mix at a time, but I want to start by arranging the large components. And I have cut these uh, banner pieces from, I think this is a scrap of These Days by Coco Vanilla. And I I want these lifted up. The, the Big Mama foam is really nice and thick. And so I wanted this raised up because I'm gonna be doing a lot of tucking of things underneath. I have a couple flare lined up, but if those don't seem to be Right, okay, so that's right there in the middle. I'm gonna arrange these bits. And they didn't need to be up as high. So I am, um, I've used a sh some uh, craft foam sheets behind them. And I'll make sure I get these centered properly and of course in the sketch there are three up and three down and my cut file is going to take up space up top so I'm just going to have three down and one up and I'll put it in place, and then we'll do all of the embellishing around this structure. Again, I want to put, this is my, my main thing. I used the other half of this. I guess it's a sunflower cut from black 
cardstock, and I just thought it looked striking. And when you lift it up like this foam is going to do, um, even without sequins, it's it's going to create some shadows that really um, are striking. But with sequins, it'll be striking and sparkly. I'm going to do it that way so that it kind of overlaps there. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put these. I'm thinking they may go somewhere like this, where they kind of tie into the photo cluster. And I like them going off to the side like that, but I'm not sure. So let's do the top part. Kind of, I wanna do that. And over here, I'm going to have a cluster of citrus, and it's the citrus that's kind of setting my color scheme. It's, it's actually the citrusy kinds of colors there. I know everyone's anxious to get into scrapping fall colors, but I'm happy with having summer just kind of hold on for just a little bit longer. I'm going to do it that way. And then that's the flattest one. This one is on some of the, the foam. I'm going to do it that way. And then this one's on some Big Mama foam as well. So it's going to stay up. And I'm, I don't know if I'm going to overlay it or underlay it. Let's do that. And then we can dress that up. Now, see, I could do these kind of coming from there. And I kind of like that, but we'll, we'll worry about that when we get there. Let me get these guys off. And my title is going to be sea life and if i do and i i like that it's a different color from anything else in the on the page it really makes it stand out i'm that would i know that would make some people's um hair curl but i'm okay with it I'm going to cut the bow just a little bit shorter. And I may put a tiny bit of the Big Mama foam. right behind the bow so that when I put it, this may be too small of a piece. I don't know if I can get enough sticking surface for it, but I just want this to kind of stand up. And I know I've got, so if I do this, this way, then sea life will go there. If I do it this way, then it would go here. I need to decide. I'll, I'll kind of leave it there for a moment. And I want to see where the pineapple goes, maybe here. And I thought I could do a pink starfish there 
And I was gonna maybe do this guy down here. And I could kind of tuck that under and do this like that. And then the pineapple goes maybe on another layout. We'll put that on another layout. And then I can kind of work the flares in around maybe um, the yellow one with stars. Let's, I like this idea here because it has the kind of orangey yellow and the green. It has a tiny tip of red that kind of echoes that. And I can do this one maybe right there. Okay, I'm, I'm, since I'm gonna do the sequence last, I want to decide on this. Let me try this again, going this way. And if I did that, it could be over a bit. And I could still have this guy here kind of peeking out from from there, and I could have that right there, and maybe the pineapple right there. Okay, I like that. It balances, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do some stuff up here and, and that will get balanced. So I have a little piece of foam behind this, but it's lost its stickiness. I was gonna use it on a page and then didn't. So I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna commit here, or I should be committed. Let's see what, what we end up with here. And I want it to look like they're just, they were just uh, dropped there, or they just kind of. Okay, and now let's put a little bit of this. These are from Bramble Fox. And that pink is not in any of the other supplies, so it is a, um, when something doesn't match, I call it an accent color. And that's what sea life is. And I'm going to be fairly careful here. And I'm gonna put my adhesive only on this cross area here. And I'm gonna kind of rub it out so that it's tacky, but not gloppy. And I don't, it, the glue will dry clear. But I don't want the, um, and of course I put it on a part that's not making contact all that well. Okay, there. And then this guy has some foam and I've kind of curled the leaves. I'm gonna let it cross into the photo cluster. And then this, now I'm gonna try something. These were sent to me um, by Spiegel Mom Scraps and they are um, adhesive, highly adhesive discs that, and I've tried them with um, flare before. They're not, you know, big enough to cover the whole flare, but you can get it on a part of it and then peel it up off and man, it's gonna stick and the flare will be a little bit flatter. So you have to be sure that it's exactly where you want it. 
because it's there. Once, once you put it there, it's there. So I like this. I, I, as, as you have seen, I've done a lot with, um, I'll put foam in the center of the flare. And if I want to lift the flare up and don't mind if it's uh, flat or not, I can do that. But this actually gets on the frame of the flare and holds that one frame is enough to provide all the hold you need. <laughs> Okay, so I've got those two. I can do some, um, and, and we'll be doing some some further embellishing there. And I thought I might do the yellow one with the stars as maybe part of this grouping, or uh, down here maybe. There we go. I like it there, and and I can do, uh, and I have a tiny little fish I could put there. Okay, it's so easy. And I've tried it both ways where I, um, I peel the top, and um, then pull up the adhesive with the object. And I've also pulled it so the adhesive is on here and then just stick it on something. I think I prefer the way I just did it. Okay, so now let's play with sequins. I'm gonna turn it upside down because I'm gonna be working in these areas here. And I'm going to do a little bit of glue down in the what I'm calling the accent parts, and I'm just going to let it be kind of free form as if I were watercoloring with those sequins. And I'm going to do all of the petals up front because the glue, it dries quickly enough, but it's not going to dry out before I get my sequins kind of spilled into there. And I'm getting the glue off of the black. Uh, cardstock because it will dry clear, but there'll be a little bit that'll show. Okay, so here are all my backings. I need to clear those off my table every time. Okay, I'm going to start with these, these rainbow sherbet, and I'm going to put them in my little um, Brutus Monroe um, tray that I got from Sandy Reversky at her retreat last year. I'm gonna kinda just spill those into there and we're gonna see what sticks. This is gonna be my main um, my main mix, I kind of had it out separate, and then I will pull things from, and as the sequins spill around, they're going to, 
you know, I'm just going to go ahead and, and do this. Oops, I got quite a few of those large ones. And I can pull some of those out if the proportion is a little too, too much. Now, as they spill, they can kind of form an attractive, um, random kind of look, which gives me ideas for other little kind of clusters of sequins. Like right under here is a good spot for a cluster. I'm going to use a different mix there. I'm going to use Don't Rush Me because it has the green in it that I want over here by all that green. So as you can see, I'm just kind of spilling them there. I call that a spill of sequins. And I'm going to do that same mix up here by this flare because it has some orange and gold in it and that it has the teal to kind of pick up that color. And I'm going to add some of these up here. Now what I'm going to do is go back and kind of press those in. And there's and and they'll stick to the glue and if there are some that stick in pretty places like I kind of like this down here and I'm going to use the same mix right in here. I'm liking the um, the accents that the sequins have added to the page already even without cleaning it up. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm going to do right over in here, I'm going to do some of the original mix. And again, just kind of spilling it on. And I'm going to end up when I... Um, drop the the um, the dry ones when I'm done with all of this and and let them come out. I will have created my own new mix, and you'll see me use it on on layouts. <laughs> and I will remember. I'm going to label it so that I remember which mix which mixes made up my mix. Okay, so I'm gonna press those in, press these in, and this petal is filled more so than the others, and that's okay. Let me get a, one of these and kind of push that one over, get that down in there. Now, the big reveal. We will take this and do this. I'll turn it over and lightly tap, but look how gorgeous my craft mat looks. <laughs> it's, it's magic. So, let's look at what we have. We have an, a stray one up here that picked up some glue. Same here. And there's one that's kind of stuck up under there. And all those are staying. And here, it's mostly the little ones. What I 
I suppose you could call that technique encrusting, and I'm okay with that word. Um, I just love it. I, I, I've, uh, it's also been called a, a fake shaker pockets, but with the clusters that I have around, um, that doesn't even look like a shaker pocket. So, uh, but I just love how the sunflower came out. So that's it. I'm done. And I appreciate all of you. Let me put this little tiny fish that came from a sticker sheet. I'm going to put it somewhere. I'm going to put it right here. The color is just perfect. And if I don't put it on here, I'll lose it. And thank you for watching. I'm going to add a couple little rhinestone or, or little bubble type gems. Um, kind of off to the side. Um, that's a requirement for the um, Dotty About Flare Summer Challenge. And I just want to put a few in here. There we go. And then um, I think we're done. Bye. I appreciate your watching. And I really look forward to playing with more uh, uh, sequins and doing using them differently this month. Bye.